my friends are since. Tonight I'm doing some more experiments with video synthesis and the idea is that I'm going to try and get some visuals that I can then use for a music video or something similar in the future. Still feeling out all of the video synthesis possibilities and the kinds of effects and things I can get. So I thought I would make a video and show you my setup for this particular experiment. Not least because even though there's tons and tons of videos out there for audio synthesis and audio effects and kind of music production, there isn't quite as many videos out there that talk about the kind of video effects or visual art side of things. So I thought it was worth sharing what I'm doing. I did record a bunch of this stuff at the weekend and I got some visuals that I really liked. But unfortunately, when I recorded the video, I recorded it at too small a resolution in OBS. And so it was basically not worth using. So here I am, I'm going to try and replicate things but uh, in the world of kind of glitchy video art that can be quite difficult to do so I don't know how far we'll get but anyway hopefully this will give you some ideas and maybe some inspiration of your own if you're interested in video synthesis. So I'll show you what my setup is now and then we can see how I got on. So over here on my laptop I've got a picture of my wife Grace. I took this a few years ago, shot it on a film camera, it's on Neopan 1600. I scanned it in and this is the, vid uh, the picture at least that I'm going to use as the basis of my kind of video stuff. Because it's black and white I should be able to kind of inject some colour into it quite nicely and it should take that without it getting too wild and out of control and because it's a person then I'm hoping I can get some nice glitchy stuff that looks pretty cool at least I did the other day until I lost all of it so uh, fingers crossed I can get some of that back again. Now in terms of the signal flow here what I've got is I'm monitoring everything on my Wii CRT TV up here uh, you won't be able to see it very well because obviously the refresh rate and stuff will be different but the signal is coming out here and I've got this set up so that it's got this displayed full screen and it goes out via a wee cheap ass HDMI to composite video converter. That's an analog video converter or a digital to analog video converter. It then goes into this device, which is a beautiful circuit bent video enhancer called the Neon Widow. It was made or at least circuit bent by someone called Mezkillen in Germany and that lets me do all sorts of cool glitchy effects and I'll show you that maybe in another video but also in this. I then have this thing here which is a video synthesizer from someone in the Netherlands. I'm not going to try to pronounce their name because I will definitely cock it up but it's called the Three Trends RGB plus 1C and what this does is just acts as a video synthesizer which you can also route video through. Now both of these are going into this video mixer here. It's an Edero V4, it's an analog video mixer. I've got one on each channel and the plan is that I'm going to mix the two together but also glitch things up and hopefully the result will be something quite colourful and interesting. I like this video mixer because it's got a bunch of video uh, effects built in so I can kind of twist the signal up even more colorize things to how I want them and whatever else. Some other interesting things about the signal flow is that I'm taking the output of the video mixer and feeding it back into this thing, the video synthesizer, and then I'm rooting that back into the video mixer. So essentially there will be a wee bit of a feedback loop, hopefully, or at least it will give me some control over the dynamics and colour and give some movement that might not already have been there. You can see here, this is just the image, you can probably see some colour at the top and that's just because of the way I've got things set up. But if I start to move the mixer knob over here, you'll see the colours coming in from the video synthesizer. And I've got it set up just now so that the blacks will be keyed out essentially. And then if I start to play about with the controls on the mezcaline box, you'll see that things start to glitch up a wee bit. And these kind of circuit bent boxes are quite unpredictable and so it can take a wee bit of time till you find something that is really usable but actually I quite like this already and you can see how it gives you these really interesting bits of motion although I've managed to lose the signal there, right, there we go. Now because I'm running through this video mixer it'll be a bit less chaotic than normal because it's got a time based corrector in it and it means that it kind of smooths out some of the glitches. But in terms of how I am actually capturing this stuff, as in how is it appearing on the screen, then there's a few different ways you can do this. And 
all of the results kind of vary depending on the combination of things you're using. So for example, um, if you wanted to record things normally, you would get an HDMI capture card and you would just convert the analog signal into the HDMI signal which is what I'm doing here. So the signal comes out the mixer, it goes into one of these boxes here, which is just, I think this costs like 25 pounds or something. And then from there, it goes into this cheap ass HDMI capture card thing, which lets me capture it in OBS. So I've just disconnected the signal, I'm trying to show you, which is great. Anyway, there is another alternative. You can use one of these things, which has got multiple kind of inputs and you just plug that in and record with it. Finding one of them that's good can be a challenge because you often need to use crappy drivers and stuff from random Chinese websites that don't even work on Mac. But this one uh, is class compliant, which means it doesn't actually need any additional drivers. So that's pretty good. But in this particular case, I've opted to use this combination because I found it gave me the sharpest image. So we'll uh, try that out and see how it works. And yeah, hopefully that gives you a rough idea of what kind of stuff I'm doing with the images. And then if you see this stuff in a music video, then yeah, that's, that's how I'm doing it. So this is the effect I was after. You can see that the glitch here has gone right over our mouth and kind of messed up the colours in a really pleasing way and I'm particularly happy with this. So I wanted to get this on video and it's taken me so long to get this back so I'm pretty pleased that it's working. <laughs>